Mm -hmm. I'm Kurt with Winners Performance, and we're here talking about checking oil level and filling oil in a 7-inch quick change, like this Mod Light quick change that we have here. Uh, maintaining oil level is obviously important. You don't want to have too much oil in here because it'll cause excessive heat and wear. And you also obviously don't want to have too little oil. Uh, when you're checking the oil level, make sure that the rear end itself is level. If you have any pinion angle worked into your setup, you'll want to jack up the car to make sure that the rear is level so that you get an accurate reading. So then what you do is you remove your oil level plug, which on these rears is on the right side, just ahead of the axle. And you also remove the oil fill plug, which is on the same side, but just behind the axle. Fill the oil here, and you want to bring it up just to the bottom of the oil level hole. And if this is a new rear, you're going to want to wait a couple minutes. There's a shielded lower bearing, and it takes a little bit of time for the oil to go from the main cavity to the change gear cavity. Uh, after you wait a couple minutes, just top it off, put a little bit more oil in here, make sure you're bringing it up right to the, uh, to the oil level hole, reinstall your plugs, and you're good to go. If you've been out at the track and the oil is already warm, no need to wait. You can just fill it up, reinstall the plug, and go. Um, we recommend a semi-synthetic gear oil with Molly, like our 8090 gear oil. Uh, or a full synthetic like Mobile One 7590. Uh, all the information that we've gone over here is also on the tag that comes with your rear. And it's also available uh, in our catalogs, which you can read uh, online by going to our website and downloading the catalog. Or give us a call and we'll mail a copy out to you.